illustrated by Roy Bell. This is Karina. This is Casey. Karina and Casey are best friends. They were born on the same day, in the same month, and in the same year. They always have a lot of fun together. Karina and Casey love the color blue. However, there is something wrong with their friendship. What could it possibly be? Casey loved the color blue so much that her father painted her entire bedroom blue. Casey was so thrilled. Karina loved the color blue so much that her mother put blue carpet in her bedroom. Karina was so happy. Today is Corinne and Casey's birthday. They are both very excited and secretly found gifts for each other. Their parents decided to buy them something blue. I brought Casey a pretty blue dress for her birthday, said Casey's mother. I brought Corinna a sparkling pair of blue shoes for her birthday, said Corinna's father. Karina and Casey had no idea about the surprise birthday party their parents had planned for them. After meeting their parents, they decided to have their birthday party in the school classroom. I will call and ask their teacher, Mrs. Smith, if it's okay, said Karina's mother. That sounds great, said Karina's father. The teacher, Mrs. Smith, was delighted and said, yes. While all the children were at recess, their parents and teacher, Mrs. Smith, decorated the classroom in the color blue. Their parents brought a huge blue cake, lots of blue punch, and blue ice cream to the birthday party. The classroom was simply beautiful. After all the children returned from recess, they were very amazed to see all the pretty balloons decorations, and snacks. Karina and Casey were surprised to see their parents, and they had no idea of the surprise birthday party. Today is Karina and Casey's birthday, said Mrs. Smith. Let's all say happy birthday. Time to open their gifts from their parents, and Casey decided to open her gift first. Casey pulled out a beautiful blue dress, and all the students marveled. The dress was very pretty. When Karina noticed how all the students loved Casey's blue dress, she became jealous and spilled punch all over Casey's new dress. It's ruined, said Casey. I'm sorry, said Karina. It was an accident. When it was time for Karina to open her gift, she pulled out a sparkling pair of blue shoes. The students were amazed at how the blue shoes sparkled. Casey noticed how the students loved and admired Karina's blue shoes, and she became jealous and dropped a huge piece of cake all over Karina's new shoes. They're ruined, said Karina. I'm sorry, said Casey. It was an accident. Karina and Casey were mad at each other and didn't say a word. Their behavior was unacceptable, and their teacher and parents warned them of their actions. Although Karina and Casey were mad, they had forgotten to open their gifts from each other. I forgot to give you your gift, said Karina to Casey. And I forgot to give you your gift, said Casey to Karina. Karina and Casey both opened their gifts from each other. When Karina opened her gift from Casey, she pulled out a pretty blue dress. It's
It's so pretty, said Karina. Thank you, said Casey. When Casey opened her gift from Karina, she pulled out a sparkling pair of blue shoes. They're so pretty, said Casey. Thank you, said Karina. Karina and Casey apologized to each other for their jealousy. I'm sorry for being jealous of your blue dress, said Karina. And I'm sorry for being jealous of your blue shoes, said Casey. Karina and Casey were best friends once again. And they never, ever allowed jealousy to come between their friendship. The end. <laughs>